Welcome back. Tonight I'm obsessed with finally seeing how Russia is waging an influence campaign on America through social media. And yes, I use present tense. We're looking at actual evidence now of how a foreign power tried to exacerbate some of the deepest divisions in our country. Democrats in the House Intelligence Committee unveiled just a few of the ads and pages and posts from Facebook and Instagram during the height of the 2016 election that were tied to Russian actors. Many of these ads were not about the candidates at all, but instead were targeted in ways to divide people along political lines, racial lines, religious lines, Lines, geographic lines, and a lot more, exploiting already existing divisions on some of the country's most hot button issues. So let's start with immigration. Russian actors put money behind Facebook pages like this one, promoting, quote, secured borders or racial issues. This page called Blacktivist, which said Black Panthers were dismantled by U.S. government because they were black men and women standing up for justice and quality. Or religion, where Russians created and sponsored a, quote, United Muslims of America page. But of course, there were also ads aimed squarely at attacking or promoting certain candidates. Here's one ad from Instagram uh, called American Veterans, saying, quote, Hillary Clinton will never understand what it feels like to lose the person you love for the sake of your country. And then there's this Facebook page by the Russians called Army of Jesus, which has a graphic of Satan saying, if I win, Clinton wins. Then there were the attempts by Russians to actually get people to attend real rallies in person. There were pages like this one called Being Patriotic, which told people to meet at a certain place and time for a, quote, down with Hillary event. And this, an Instagram page called American Made, telling people to join Florida Trump rallies. Now look, these pages, these ads, these memes, they were supposed to look American, look that they were like they were organic and created and publicized by Joe or Jane Citizen. But sadly, they weren't. All of these ads were paid for in rubles. And we know now that 150 million Americans, nearly half of the U.S. population, were exposed to stuff like this and more in the two years leading up to the 2016 election. And folks, this has not stopped since Election Day. In fact, it's still going on. Republican Senator James Lankford says Russian troll farms have been sending out content on both sides of the debate around NFL players taking a knee during the anthem just to continue to stir up divisions here in our country. Look, we know we do have real divides in this country, and we're divided enough as it is without Russia's help. And we're already so firmly entrenched in our corners and so committed to believing the worst about the other side, whether it's Democrat versus Republican, black versus white, city dwellers versus country folk, or whatever you want to create your division, that we were ripe to be targeted in this exact way during the 2016 election. And our divisions, sadly, are getting worse, not better, which means we're now more vulnerable, not less, to exactly this tactic from Russia propagandists. Just think about that and maybe take a deep breath and ask yourself, how do we change this? Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.